well, well, well. Clicked on another one of my videos. I appreciate it. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Wonderbrain. I hope you like my new intro. I'm trying it out. I think it's pretty cool. Um, anyways, so, PAX East was yesterday and all weekend in wherever East is. I don't know, somewhere, maybe Boston? I don't know where it is, actually. That's a good question. I think it's actually Boston. Doesn't matter. Who cares? PAX East was yesterday. A lot of Borderlands 2 information came out during the PAX East. Borderlands uh, Gearbox panel, sorry. So, ugh. there's going to be a new Borderlands 2 playable character. It's the sixth playable character for Borderlands 2. So, it's really cool. Now, this guy is a psycho. He's a psycho named Krieg. He will be available for nine. Nine ninety nine or eight hundred Microsoft points. Xbox for the Xbox Seven Twenty. Just change it to dollars, please. Um, in May, so it's gonna be available in May. So a couple months away. Krieg is based on the psycho enemies seen in the game and rewards players for high risk behavior, such as running into crowds. His action skill is a blood axe rampage, which allows him to regain health after killing an enemy. His skill trees are Bloodlust, Mania, and Hellborn. Now, there's actually six minutes of Borderlands 2 gameplay from PAX East, the PAX East panel. So I'll leave a description, link in the description for you guys to watch that if you would like. It's really cool. Um, basically, it is like he's carrying an axe, and you can, when you go into your, uh, your action skill, um, you can either swing your axe or, ooh, that was almost a voice crack, or, so you can either swing it and, like, it's a basic, a melee weapon, or you could throw it at him like a dang tomahawk. It's really cool, and for every person you kill, you freaking, uh, uh you, you gain maximum health, so it's really cool. And then, also, I think it's one of the, um, I think it's one of the skill trees that, that you unlock but when you're in the last the you know the second chance mode you can throw dynamite it's called yeah it, it's called it's a definitely a skill uh skill tree it's called light the fuse and you could you throw pieces of dynamite at the at the uh enemies until you kill them and then if you didn't kill them just with that dynamite you light the last fuse and then like the camera zooms up and you just like just blow up like a freaking like you commit suicide and then if you kill that person then you get second wind it's really cool. You guys got to check this six-minute video out. Like I said, I'll leave the link in the description. I, I want to put it up on my channel, but I don't want to get a copyright strike because IGN's got it. And Oh, shit. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> oh, thank you for everyone that said bless you. I appreciate that. So let me give you guys a little information on each tree. So the bloodless tree is about constantly dealing damage, such as increased bonuses for killing enemies with explosions or grenades, and an increased chance to find grenade ammo kill, um, following a kill using that method. The Mania Tree rewards the player for taking damage, such as decreased action skill tool, cooldown while being hurt. Krieg will also be able to receive damage from teammates. Hmm. Finally, the Hellborn Tree focuses on elemental damage. One of the... One... Oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. With one skill offering increased, with one skill offering increased damage while you're on fire, and a chance of being ignited yourself every time you light up an enemy. This guy's gonna be crazy. The one thing that does suck, though, I mean, he looks really, really cool. But the one thing that does suck is that Krieg is not included in the Borderlands 2. Uh, Krieg is not included in the Borderlands 2 season pass. Which is oh, a little bit frustrating. When I bought my season pass, I was getting all the DLC that was coming out. Guess freaking not. Um, ah, that's frustrating. He's ten bucks, so he's an extra ten bucks. Um, he's obviously gonna be worth it, but I mean, frick. Come on, guys. Come on, Gearbox. They didn't release the Mechromancer because she was a pre-order. Like I understand why that one wasn't there in the season pass, but this one is DLC. It's got to come out in the season pass. But I guess they in, they entailed in the season pass, they said, you will get all the campaign DLC that comes out. They didn't just say that all the DLC. But we are getting the level cap increase, which freaking better be free. I'll punch a hoe. Um, but yeah, we don't get this one for free, which kind of sucks, but I'll definitely buy it. So yeah. 
that's about it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Much love. Deuces.